Hello, we are group four, and today we're going to present about direct numbers. Our presentation has five segments. Introduction to direct numbers, everyday use of direct numbers, the number line, adding and subtraction direct numbers, and multiplying and dividing direct numbers. Introduction to direct numbers. So, what are direct numbers? It's pretty simple, actually. Direct numbers are positive and negative numbers together. Positive number are numbers that is above zero and below zero are negative numbers. And here's an example of a number line which you're going to talk later in the presentation. So what are directed numbers used for in real life? We use directed numbers when we talk about sea level, time zone, profit or loss, graphs, bank statements, bills, etc. So for example, when plus $60 means a profit of $60, then minus $60 means a loss of $60. Okay, so next up we have the number line. First definition. A number line can be defined as a straight line with numbers placed at equal intervals or segments along its length. Numbers on the right are always bigger than the number on the left. Negative numbers are on the left of zero. Positive numbers are on the right of zero. Secondly, we have some examples. Two is smaller than five because two is on the left of five. Minus one is bigger than minus four because minus one is on the right of minus four. The next chapter is about adding and subtracting directed numbers. For positive number, adding a positive number will increase your result. And when you subtract a positive number, it will decrease your result. And here are some examples. Opposite with positive number. When you add a negative number, it will decrease your result. And when you subtract a negative number, it will increase your result. Last but not least, multiplying and dividing directed numbers. Here we have some important rules. When the signs of the two numbers are the same, then the answer is positive. But when they are different, the number is negative. We gave you some easy questions as examples. The answers are clear, so it's easy, right? But that's a big problem while doing multiplication and division. You might confuse negative 3 squared and negative 3 squared with brackets. They give out different numbers. One result is negative and the other one is positive. So if you have a as minus 5, then a squared is 25, not minus 25. So please be careful while doing the power things. If you are struggling with these, contact us for help. And if you have any further questions or problems, please tell us now. Thanks for listening. Bye.